Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my spoiler-free review of The Winter Garden by Kristen Hanna. And this was the Tales and Teacup book club pick for the month of December. And so, yeah, this was a book that I've had on my shelf for a while. And I figured, given the cover, that would be a perfect book to read in December when it's starting to get snowy outside. We've had a couple of big uh, snowstorms, so it's been suiting. So like most of Kristen Hanna's books, this kind of center out, centers around around the story of women. So in this case it follows a mother and her two children who are grown women now. So basically this family has not had the best relationship at all. Their mother is very cold and distant and these sisters because of that don't have a good relationship with each other or their mother. Um, so uh, when their father is on his deathbed he asks his wife, his like dying wish is for his wife to tell the tale of the princess and the girl and so after his death and there's a lot of other stuff going on the mother tells this tale of this girl growing up in Russia and falling in love with a prince and it basically the uh, Nina and Meredith they're her children kind of realize that maybe there's more to the story that meets the eye and it has connections to kind of the siege of Leningrad during World War II and so this book um, it did take me, there's like a lot of stuff, like a lot of traveling going on. And just I was very busy when I was reading this, so it took me a little bit longer to get through this book, maybe about two weeks. Um, but this is something I probably could have finished in a week if it was just like a regular standard week. Um, but it was holidays, Christmas, parties, I was exhausted. So, um, but this book, like I will say the first quarter of this book, it did take me a while to get into because it is pretty repetitive and the author is setting everything up um, kind of for where the story takes off and so the author does a really good job of seamlessly weaving in kind of the fairy tale um, side to it um, with kind of the present day and it was done very seamlessly. I didn't felt I didn't feel like the book was at a stop or like I didn't feel the book lost any momentum with the changing of between the past and present and it's almost done where the stories are very much interconnected and I really liked how instead of kind of like the Nightingale which or like with most World War II books they kind of focus in Europe especially in France I've seen there's been a theme for that um, but this one kind of focuses on Russia during this point in the siege of Leningrad which is probably one of the most horrific things that happened in the war besides like probably one of the most horrific like kind of battles that lasted for I think it, I looked it up it lasted for over 800 days and it was just crazy but it was very heartbreaking and the author does a very good job at making it realistic where I can just picture myself there and just kind of Vera who is the character in the fairy tale kind of her her kind of perspective of everything and just I could feel myself being there and I think that's what made this book very effective and made the point get across um, so overall I was very much pleased with this book if you are a fan of Kristen Hanna's and you haven't picked this one up yet I think you should or if you're a fan of historical fiction and looking for something a little different that covers like if you love World War II and it's always you always read books focused on Europe, I think this one will be a good one to do read because it's a different perspective from a different side of the war war and the author does not sugarcoat anything and it's heartbreaking and it's haunting and it, I was speechless when I finished it and like all that. So I know this is a book that definitely has made an impact on me and I think it will make a big impact on you. Um, so I'm really excited. Um, like I said, this is the seventh Kristen Hanna book that I've read. So yeah, if you haven't read any of her books yet, I highly recommend you pick them up. I've never been disappointed by one of her books. They've always been a very, like they've always had a lasting impact on me and this one is no different. So I, like I said, I really love this book. I had like that one complaint about the first part being a little slow but once like the mother starts telling her fairy tale and the story starts starts to pick up like I couldn't put it down and I read the last 200 pages in one day because I was like I want to know how it ends and so yeah I was very pleased with this book I'm happy that my book club like this was the pick for December because I ended the year on a good note because there were several books that I picked throughout the year that just weren't like very good or 
I don't know they didn't live up to expectations so I'm very 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 pleased with this one so yeah that's all I have to say about this one if you've read this book please let me know what you thought about it and all that so yeah so that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you've read this book and you like kind of participating in the book club let me know down below what you thought about it because it was just really really emotional book and I'm very happy that I kind of concluded the year on a good note so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time bye guys